The dry cavalry engines that are being manufactured by Godrej Aerospace will be subjected to performance evaluation across various flight regimes, including high altitude trials. These trials will serve as crucial milestones in assessing the engine's capabilities and ensuring its suitability for a wide range of operational scenarios. The GTRE is also focused on enhancing the time between overhauls of the dry cavalry engine, and the objective is to achieve a time between overhaul of 3000 flight hours through continuous monitoring of engine performance and degradation, ensuring that engine components can maintain their reliability and performance over an extended period before requiring overhaul or replacement. The president of the Center for Military Modernization Chris Osborne has expressed support for the supply of F-35 fighter jets to India. He also highlighted the advantages of an Indian F-35, as its common multifunction advanced data link would enable secure and instant connectivity with other F-35 operated by the US Air Force and the US Navy in the Indian Ocean. The F-35 is already deployed in significant numbers in Asia through partner nations like Singapore, Japan, Australia and South Korea, and the addition of Indian F-35 along China's western border could have a substantial impact on regional security dynamics. During the two-day visit of Prime Minister Modi to France this week, India will announce the deal for acquisition of 26 Rafale Marine fighters for the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier, and a repeat order for building three more Scorpion-class submarines at Mazagin Dock ship builders. According to inputs from South Bloc, a meeting of the Defence Acquisition Council has been convened by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on 13 July, for granting acceptance of necessity to the Indian Navy for the purchase. After the acceptance of necessity, the price and terms and conditions will be subsequently negotiated, with the aim of obtaining the best price from Dassault Aviation. All the 26 fighters will be single-seater versions, and 18 Rafale Marine fighter jets will be on board INS Week Grant, and the remaining 8 fighter jets will be based in Goa as reserves for rotation. Spanish firm Nevantia and India's Larsen and Dubro have signed a pact to jointly bid for Project 75I to build six advanced submarines for the Indian Navy. After submitting its bid for Project 75I, Nevantia has announced that its S-80 Plus submarines are equipped with their proprietary bioethanol stealth technology AIP system, which surpasses the DRDO-developed fuel cell-based AIP system in terms of performance and stealth capabilities, and additionally, this technology allows for the submarine to operate with a reduced crew without compromising its capabilities. In collaboration with the BAB Atomic Research Center, the RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has embarked on an ambitious plan to develop a nuclear-powered engine for ground vehicle applications. The aim is to create a compact and lightweight nuclear reactor that can serve as a mobile power source for military applications, as recent studies have highlighted the potential of thorium-based micro-reactors and atomic batteries as alternatives. The atomic batteries could be a viable solution for providing a continuous power supply, and it will produce no waste, and can potentially utilize nuclear waste as a fuel source. Oh,